What's up, y'all? Hope y'all had a wonderful weekend and the start to a, an amazing week, okay? Um, there's some intense energies with this retrograde. This is Mars in retrograde. And, um, you know, the full moon energy is just like leaving out. And it has created some intense energy where emotions are at an all-time high and um not only that the past it's like past issues are resurfacing it's resurfacing so that you could feel it and face it and release it remember we're all growing don't beat yourself up sometimes we make mistakes sometimes we do things that we know we're not supposed to do also we um you know we we were living in a pattern there was a pattern that has been going on and we have to figure out how to break that pattern versus keep the pattern going okay remember like i said we're all grown we're all learning so remember to forgive yourself forgive others work on becoming more kind myself included okay i take my own advice all right um remember if you have people looking up to you whether they like to admit it or not these divines with with this beautiful light energy you have people looking up to you and it may be annoying at first like a little sister or whatever but um people look up to you so if you got people that want to dress like you be like you you know try to have some patience for that person because they just look up to you you know <laughs> so we're gonna keep it moving this is a spirit baby reading let's see what messages these baby have for mommy and daddy what messages do you have for mommy and daddy Daddy says he wants a daughter with you. Wait a minute, man. The echo. Oh, he meant that. Daddy about to speak up or something. Y'all heard how it got real loud and everything? Like, he meant that. Daddy says he wants a daughter with you. Okay? He wants a daughter with you. And look, what's right here? We are twins, two girls. So for some of you, it could be. Um, two girl twins depends on what you're manifesting for some of you it is twins though a girl and a boy some of you you may have eventually two girls not with the same set of twins because some of you want girl boy girl boy cheer up you're blessed you've known me before as a male in this life You've known me before as a male in this life. So somebody that passed over that you've known before as a male may be wanting to come back through you or they could be the one that's just saying, cheer up, you're blessed. You have a lot to be happy about. Daddy, when you see mommy, give her loads of kisses. Mm -hmm, Cause I'm quite sure mommy then been through the ringer, okay? So remember, when I'm seeing mommy and daddy, I'm um, putting it in the representation of masculine and feminine. So masculine is daddy and vice versa. But um, if your masculine is a female, then just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Mommy and daddy, you will have more than enough to take care of us. So you will have the funds and stuff. No need to be tripping or stressing about nothing. It's five of us in total. Because some of you may have been wondering like that. You know, I'm 
barely making it or I'm just getting where I need to be. Remember to have that abundant mindset versus having that scarcity mindset. When you have an abundant mindset, you attract more abundance. You attract more abundant people. You get put in a position to create abundance, all right? Daddy will be home soon. Daddy will be home soon. Mommy, when you see daddy, give him lots of kisses. So lots of kisses all around the board. All around the board. Mommy is very sensitive right now. Aww. Yeah, especially with all these different things going on, you know, in the universe. Be patient with yourself, okay? It's okay. Like, you can bring it back even if you slip up. Bring it back and tighten up. Now you know. And give yourself some extra love today, this week. Look in the mirror. Say some positive affirmations to yourself. Know that it's going to be okay. Know that everything is working out for your highest good. Things are being moved around in your life for a reason. Especially so if it feels like things are falling apart or things are just not going your way yet. It's because the divine time is at work in your life. I like taking pictures. Be a, being able to see a positive even when going through a negative situation is such like an amazing underrated gift. Like to be able to pull yourself out from a dark place, you know, to be able to do that. It's a lot of people that wish to walk in your shoes, but couldn't fit them. They couldn't fit them. They would have been fell. So you are becoming brave. You're being taught to be brave. You're being taught to be strong because some of you have leadership roles that you are being uh, guided into. Or some of you already stepped into it. And you have these leadership roles and these big shoes to fill. So you're being prepared for it. So these things are not meant to break you. It's meant to make you stronger. And sometimes you do have to get broken down in order to, if, if it's not on solid ground. Like that ego and all that, it has to die. You have to go through an ego death in order to become this, you know, pure light being that is, you know, meant to spread love and light to the world, to different people. Even if you don't have this big leadership mission, but yet you still are a light being or a light worker, you could be in a position to have a job where you work with people, you know, you make people smile, you make people happy, you could be in the beauty fashion world or whatever and you help people feel good about themselves that is still a part of light work you know so just know that things that you're going through is preparation for the things that you ask for if you ask for something big you know it takes certain things to to be replaced in order for to make space for that big thing that you want we are twins two boys that's crazy because you know what's crazy you could either be having a boy, girl, boy, girl set of twins. Some of you may be having two sets of twins because we got it's five, five of us in total. So it depends on your situation. But um, we definitely got two sets of twins here. Okay. <laughs> so it could be boy, girl, boy, girl. It could be two boys, two girls. Everybody is manifesting something different. So take what resonates for you. If you, if you don't have plans on having twins at all, um, maybe that part does not resonate for you, but we have mommy isn't mad anymore and wants you to call. Mommy isn't mad anymore and wants you to call. I'll try my best to let you sleep through the night, LOL. I'll try my best to let you sleep through the night, LOL. Also, have you been being guided to like step away from like your personal social media? And the reason why I said that is because if you give yourself a couple months and just disappear off the scene and then just bust back out, you know what I mean? Like, don't give them everything right now. Sometimes you got to make them miss you, you know, in order to get their attention for real, for real. I feel like some people want, you know, attention and they do stuff to seek attention. And I'm not saying that that's you. But sometimes you be being guided to pull back because you're getting the wrong type of attention and you want to you know, set the right, 
the right tone for yourself. So sometimes you got to take a step back so that when you step forward again, they understand your walk. They understand your talk. Because some of them are the ones that you're teaching to as well. Okay. Mommy and daddy, you're blessed. I look more like mommy. <laughs> I look more like mommy. Mommy already has hairstyles picked out. I am with our ancestors now. I'm good. Somebody papa want to come through. This is a papa or a daddy. This Spanish, your papa passed. Your papa is coming back through you. Uh -huh. um, on mommy's side, I feel like a mother, maybe a mother or a grandmother could be coming back. But remember, it could be aunts, could be cousins. But um, I really feel like it's like the upper bloodline that's trying to come back that maybe passed, you know, a ways before, like passed away a while ago. Mm -hmm. Matching outfits and matching sneakers. It will be four of us all together. And then we got, it will be six of us all together. So we got four, five, and six. All right. So for some of you, that includes you and your person. For some of you, you already have multiple kids. You can have kids, your person can have kids, and then y'all end up having kids together. So it depends on your situation, okay? We're going to keep moving. Remember to have patience for those who are following you in your footsteps that is trying to become like you, you know. You want to teach them the best you can <laughs> to not be like you. Don't be like me. Be better than me. Be better than me. My life is already taken. Your life is already taken. But, you know, it's okay. Feel free to be yourself, you know. That's what I'm teaching people. <laughs> Feel free to be yourself because everybody else is already taken. All right, let's see what angel messages we have right now. Where are my other angel messages? I haven't used that deck in a while. Let me see something. Hold on, y'all. I know these cards be loud. Okay. So what messages would you like them to know, Spirit? What messages would you like them to know? Clearing debts. Your self-care involves removing the heavy burdens of financial and emotional debts from your life. You already feel lighter and freer just by facing the topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well. Okay, so you're clearing debt, financial, emotional. And then we also have let go of guilt. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. And trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of um, berating, yourself for, berating yourself for them. 
excuse me y'all bountiful nature spending time in nature helps you shift your higher vibration and remind you of god's infinite abundance go outside and enjoy a walk or hike with your pet meditate breathe a tree garden sit under the stars or do some other activities to connect with the limitless vastness so for some of you you know it's probably nice where you are the weather may be nice a little bit for some of you depending on where you are um, i know if you're in the south the weather is probably nice if you up north the weather may be a little cold i don't know but what i'm saying is it's time to get out of nature to get grounded you want to clear some debt let go of any guilt or hurt that you've been holding on to um, remember we're here to learn lessons and we're here to teach lessons so don't feel guilty about your past mistakes it's time to move forward with love and light okay we also have visualize abundance in all forms god gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive, and filled with blessings. And that is what you experience. And the power of prayer. Remember, prayer and affirmations does help. It does work. Okay? What you, whatever you believe works. So if you, if you write down your goals, if you write down 10 goals, right on a piece of paper you write down 10 goals okay that you want to achieve this year and then you take those goals and you look at which one you want to manifest right now whichever one sticks out for you then you write on another piece of paper that goal and you write down like small ways to achieve it, achieve it um the steps that you may take um, the deadline that you want to achieve it by and if you don't know how to get to it just write down that um, you know that spirit the universe will help you find a way to get to it and watch how things manifest for you but you have to believe it whatever you choose to believe is what will manifest for you so if you do not like your reality that you're living at the time it's time to picture the life that you want and I know that that's easier said than done, especially if you're going through a rough time. But in order for you to manifest your way out of it, you have to visualize what you want. We're going to keep going. What messages do the Divine Masculine have for the Divine Feminine on the 3D? Go ahead and make the romantic gestures. Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Passion. Honeymoon. Let your friends help you. Engagement. Mm, excuse me. All right, y'all. So what I'm getting from all of this all together is your person feels like you're their their person, their soulmate. Um, they didn't recognize it before because you look different or you're just so much different than what they're used to. They were attracting people who were just like them. And you were just so much different. They they didn't. I mean, I feel like some of them, a part of them was like, Dad, you know, I do have that in me, but, you know, they just wasn't ready to explore that side of them. 
and you were just so different, you know, your love languages were different than they ever experienced. You were this this ball of light, you know, and it was very fun. It was very fun, you know. I feel like y'all experiences for some of you. Um, but I feel like this person wasn't able to open up because they didn't recognize that you were their person at first. A lot of them didn't feel worthy of you. It was like, you know, the equivalent to a rich girl marrying a poor boy. You get what I'm saying? You were just so different. And this person didn't feel like they was good enough. They didn't feel like, dag, like, you know, how did I get you? What is that? Who that? Daniel Caesar? How did I get you? It's like that. So because they didn't feel worthy enough of you, they disappeared. They like, look, oh, no, this ain't going to work. You know, let me just roll out. And it wasn't because they rolled out because just because they didn't want you. Like, they did it to save you, to protect you from themselves. They like, no, I'm going to hurt that one. That one got too much of a kind heart, kind spirit. Like, you know what I mean? And that, But you just was so intriguing because you had different ways about you. You weren't just like one person. And, like you, you had multiple different ways about you. And it was intriguing to want to come back, especially to keep... It was like layers. It's like... It's like a um a biscuit, you know, those biscuits, you know, that you put in the oven and, you know, once it start getting fluffy, it start showing all them different layers. But at first, you can't see that it's a layer. It just look like one big puff ball. And then the crisp layers begin to show and you can get, get to peel them back if you want to have it layer by layer, you know. But I feel like you tried to show this person so much, but they just weren't ready to see. Like, everybody has different levels of perception. And the where you were at, they couldn't see where you was at. They wasn't up there yet. Remember, and they put you on a pedal stool. Even though most of you still had lessons to learn and stuff like that. But at that time, spiritually, you were ahead. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> so anyway, we're going to pull some more cards. Your person is ready to express some love to you, and it may come off in a flirty way. For some of you, um, this person may have had children um, by someone else. But I feel like with this, your love life is being affected by children. This is inner child work. Because remember, when you're with your person, your inner child is free. You become childlike. You become innocent. You you know, you're willing to show that part of you that you've been shielding from the world because you wanted to protect that child. But now it's time for that child to be free, to be themselves. That's why right now, this is your person loving their inner child would love yourself first. They already know you're their soulmate. They have an open mind now. They're seeing outside of the box. They have an abundance mindset. They're visualizing it. They may have had a hard time letting go of um, guilt, but I feel like they're clearing their karmic debt. They're recognizing things. They're seeing things from your perspective too. Ten of Cups, Nine of Swords, the Hierophant. This person is up at night, stressed about this love. They picture being with you, being a happy family, how it will make them feel. Um, but I feel like wherever they at, it's just overthinking, overanalyzing, um, you know, feeling anxiety and stress. Sometimes can't sleep at night, worrying about how to achieve this, worrying about if you still want this too, 
Because this person wants to marry you. I think I want to marry you. This person views you. Look, this person wants to communicate this to you. They want to communicate. This person has stepped into their higher self. This person is in their hair font energy. Okay? They're in their divine light energy. Their pure divine masculine energy. This is them on the 5D. And they want to express some things to you. But, but it's a lot on them. Like... I feel like this love and this, these emotions that's overflowing in their life is becoming a burden to keep within. They want to express it to you. They're ready to open up and, and express this to you. For some of you, it may start off in a lighthearted manner. It doesn't necessarily have to be like flirty, but it could be. It's like, feel free to flirt. Feel free. Like when you guys start to communicate, feel free to have that lighthearted energy. Because I feel like that's what will start the conversation. That will make them feel safe to open up to you. But this person is definitely about to call. And they got them a little stressed because they don't really know what to say. But I feel like if they just trust their higher self, their higher self knows exactly what to say. Okay? Because y'all higher selves is already one. All right? So, like... <laughs> You're just waiting on the 3D for the physical call, the physical text. This person is ready to take a leap of faith after being by themselves for a while to figure things out. They took a leap of faith to, to spend time alone, to heal their inner child, to, you know, recognize their light within. This person has been taking some time to themselves to figure things out. And I feel like they're not afraid to take that leap of faith. They've been healing their inner child wounds, okay? That's another reason why they wanted to take time to themselves. Also, this person is um, no longer with a child's mother, karmic partner, whoever this was. A lot of karmics were still holding on to the masculine by trying to say that they were pregnant. Some of them may have actually been pregnant and the baby was not theirs. A lot of these karmics did cheat, you know? And now they're feeling guilty about it. But this everything is written already. Everything, you know, we already had this all mapped out before we came down. You know, we chose to come here to learn these lessons and stuff like that. So that means the lesson that you're going through, you chose. So you're brave and strong enough to get through it. Look, six of cups, ace, ace of wands with the ace of pentacles, six of cups. The Ace of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles. This talks about a passionate, fiery new beginning, um, a reunion, reuniting, and it feels so good. This person wants to reconnect with you, wants to express some things to you, okay, after focusing on themselves for so long. They already focused on themselves because, look, we got the Hermit and the Fool. Okay, the Hierophant, they're in touch with their higher self. They've been doing the work. They've been speaking to God, the higher power about this. Okay, about helping them. Spirit has been helping them to heal. Spirit already intervened a while ago. And now this person has like surrendered. This person is catching up to you spiritually. All right. And they want a new beginning with you. Okay. They do want a passionate beginning. This person has a focus on healing themselves, though, loving themselves. They also want to give you that wine. <laughs> they want they want to recapture this passion because we got passion right here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Honeymoon is under that. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. They want to get back to that com comfortable place with you. Because right now, it's very uncomfortable. And spirit will make you uncomfortable when it's time for you to move. You know what I just heard in my head? That John Legend, Legend song again. Forever I'm certain, but I still get nervous. This person is ready to come towards you. They're a little nervous, but look. Uh-oh. They're a little nervous, but change is here. They had the major epiphany about this connection and how they want it to go. They want to offer you something. They want to offer you a ring for some of you. This is more than an apology. 
This is like new beginnings all around the board. Their world has been shaken up and they're about to shake up your world, okay, with this offer that they want to give you. They feel like you're their person they want to spend the rest of their life with. They want this reunion just as much as you do, okay? They want this reunion just as much as you do. So their spirit is asking for you to keep an open mind about the situation, for you to believe and visualize in the things that you want, okay? Let go of guilt. Get outside in nature. You're clearing debt. Let go of emotional burdens and things that may have caused you pain and trauma. There's an ending to the hurt, betrayal, and karmic lessons that you've been going through, okay? Your person will communicate with you. They are now seeing things from a higher perspective, from your perspective, from all perspectives, okay? They want things to change in their life and things is changing. That's going to bring abundance in, okay? Abundance is coming into your life. This could be a windfall of money. This could definitely be a change in your relationship status. For those of you who are single, are now about to go from single to engaged or something like that. For some of you, you know, at least in um solid communication we got to start from somewhere baby steps is still steps so say a prayer for yourself and your person be kind and gentle to yourself and your person namaste